you have an absolute drunk who uh, who cannot uh, even conduct a 50 minute interview with somebody without falling into a sobbing state of uh, uh, collapse. I'm talking about John Boner. Uh, if you have any doubts about this guy's um, um, addiction to alcohol, just watch him. Listen to him anytime, any place, anywhere. But especially when the cameras are trained on him. And he starts talking about, what was he talking about on 60 Minutes, walking into a elementary school and feeling the future of the children? When you couple that with the kind of leadership that exists in the Senate and in the Republican Party, if you take a look at some of the Republicans who are going to be chairing key committees for the next two years, if you don't pull back in absolute horror, then you must be a stupid-ass, brain-dead Republican. Um, to normal people out there, I, you know, I, I, I just suggest what I suggest to myself and the people that I know and what is suggested to me. Uh, make sure you have contingency plans. And hold on to your ass, because uh, what the Republicans are about to do is uh, going to be devastating. George W. Bush set the stage. Obama, in his uh, kind of um, scaredy-cat way, tried to stanch the flow, but it didn't work. And now the Republicans, the Republicans who have given us this mess... <laughs> we're, we're apparently voted back in. There's a death wish in this country. There really is. There is, there is a strong death wish by enough of a percentage of the people who go to the polls, especially in, in off-year elections, to bring about the end of this country.